Unfortunately, our management practices prior to and during drought conditions really influence our forage production systems. And as producers, we tend to get very relaxed when we have adequate moisture because many of our warm season perennial forages that we use in Texas are very productive, even if we're not maybe managing them as well as, as we should be. Feeding the food that feeds us is vital for production, even with severe drought and rising prices. Most beef cattle producers in Texas and, and basically throughout the United States think that their primary role is a beef cattle producer is the actual animal, but their primary focus should actually be the forage or the feed source that is provided for those livestock. Um, because without forages, we would not have beef cattle production so or other livestock production. Forage specialist Vanessa Coyer Olson says it's a step that's often skipped. Now with cattle numbers down, it's a good time to regrow grass and hay. Lower cattle numbers can help with the recovery of, of our pasture and our forage systems. Unfortunately, I feel like we're almost in a, we get caught in a cycle um, as far as our, our forage production. And with current fertilizer prices, making corrections now may be easier said than done. Most people focus on production and not necessarily persistence, but trying to reestablish a pasture or hay meadow can get very expensive um, and put you out of um, forage production for a period of time, potentially at least a year, depending on the species and then the weather conditions during that establishment year. That's a look at Central Texas agriculture from the ground up. From the Ground Up is sponsored by Producers Cooperative, proudly serving agriculture since 1943.